Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Darren and today we are at Singapore's number one golf course, Sentosa Golf Club's Serapong Golf Course. In my opinion, this is the best golf course to play in the entire country. Have you played this course? And if you have, how often did you return back with a good score? Whereas for me, I would say I would only return back with a decent score of below 75 20% of the time and I hope today will be one of those days. If you have enjoyed any of my videos, I hope that you will like and subscribe and please share with your friends. So let's begin. I did not hit my second shot really well so I'm left with this chip from outside the green. I'm just hoping to hit it as close as possible to the hole. Do you think having a birdie on the first hole is a good thing or is it a bad thing? Let me know in the comments. Hole 2 is a downhill par 3. The pin is in the front today. Uh, it plays at 145 meters. So I have an 8 iron. I'm going to go straight for the flag and hoping for a hole in 1. Now I'm left with, uh, I would say, medium to long part, and I just want to put it close. Initially, I read it left, but I wasn't really familiar with the greens, so I can't really tell whether it was left or right, and now I'm left with a really testy 4-5 to five footer. I hope to make this, as this will set the pace for the day. Hole 3. It's also the most difficult hole in this course. It's the index one. You don't have any room for mistakes and you have to hit it right down the middle of this ferry. Putting it in play is my utmost priority. Thank God I hit this shot pretty well. But now I'm ended up in this uh, downhill slope. It's really severe. So all I've got is a 7 iron with a 3 quarter punch shot and I'm just going to get this up towards the green. If I'm on the dance floor, I'd be really happy and all I need is a 2 part for par. Parring this hole feels like a birdie. Hole 4 is a par 5 at 537 meters. I've opt for a 3 wood. I'm going to hit it down this uh, narrow strip fairway. I didn't go for a driver because if I hit it too far with the driver, then I may not have a second shot towards this par 5. So I'm going to be greedy, hit a 3 wood, I'm going to be as accurate as I can, and hopefully I have this second shot towards the green. So with uh, 230 meters to the pin, my 3 wood doesn't carry that much. It only goes about 220 carry. So at best, I can carry the front of this uh, green and I'm hoping for the ball to be outside of the bunker but if I'm in the bunker, it's fine as well as I'll be going for 3 on from just outside the green. So this green slopes from left to right. Um, you can see the flag is sort of uh, just on the right side of my shot. So I'm going to hit this uh, slightly left of it and hopefully the ball will slide towards the hole. Wow. <laughs> hole 4 is a par 4 at 444 meters. Now, this is a long par 4 to me and in my opinion, actually this will be the most difficult par 4 for me. I hope to put this right in the middle of the ferry, but not everything goes to plan all the time. Push this to the right, and I found myself in this really awkward situation. Uh, I don't have a shot to the pin, but I hope to hit a high draw to this space here. Overdrew it, and I found myself just short of the green, I would say about 40 odd meters. Same thing, I'm just hoping to get it close towards the hole and hopefully uh, save my path. Oh. 
hole six at 406 meters they have renovated the club has actually renovated this hole uh, you will see more bunkers now on the left side of this uh, fairway and only the right side of what you see here is the fairway so i'm just going to hit it down the center of this uh, fairway and hopefully it's safe and now i'm left with 151 meters to the pin the pin is actually uh, at the back of the rock and my seven iron is about 153 carry so i'm pretty confident that i would get this ball over the bunker Now look at the view, the view is really nice, isn't it? I'll still be happy if I miss this part because the feeling of playing at this golf club is a good one. You don't really get to play in this golf club most of the time unless you're a member here. So for this par 5, I'm going to hit a high fade over the bunker on the right side. For most long hitters, they are able to get this on in 2 but I definitely do not belong in that category. So I'm going to lay up with a 6 iron just before the bunker on the right. Didn't hit this too well. Sort of duff pull this shot and I found myself in this very awkward situation. I have a 5 iron in my hand and I'm actually planning to hit this very low hook or low draw. So with an uphill um, chip for 45 meters, I've got my sand wedge. I'm going to land it um, just in front or in the middle of the green and let the ball feed towards the hole. I did not get this close enough, so I probably left myself an outside chance for par. Lucky me, I made the part and I'm still able to remain even par going to the 8th hole. The 8th hole is an enormously long par 3 at 208 meters. Uh, it's not helping as the pin is at the back. So I've got to hit my 3 iron really well. I'd be really really happy if this ball gets onto the green. And walking away with a par with 2 parts would be a dream come true. At this point in the game, um, it, there was actually a, a lightning warning. So it rained for about an hour and all of us had to stop playing. And when it resumed, we were actually on the clock to actually complete the front nine. So you'll see all of us running and trying to uh, finish our holes as quick as possible so that we can get over to the 10th tee. On hole nine, at 414 meters, my line would actually be left of this ferry and I was planning to hit a high fade. Your ideal spot would be center or center left of this ferry. Now my ball is left in a really awkward um, lie, very awkward position. The ball is way below my feet and you can possibly shank it in this spot. So I chose uh, two clubs more and hit a three-quarter punch hoping for the ball to come out really low and let it run towards the hole unfortunately the ball got caught in the rough and again I'm left with about 30 odd meters to save my pot now with the testy part saving power from about 10 feet didn't make it but I'm still happy. A one over on the front nine is not too shabby. I'll see you guys on the back nine next week. Thanks for watching.